Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, online and offline teaching or schooling. So you uh, will see uh, which one is better and uh, what benefit we would be having in online or what benefit we would be having in offline. Right, so uh, let's start. So in the first one, we will see what are uh, factors which would be affecting either online or offline uh, schooling. So first one, we'll talk about the age group and balancing work-life family. So um, we'll see how uh, age group would be affecting and what would be the impact on uh, uh, work-life uh, for online or offline, right? Uh, the second bit, we will see uh, physical activities and health. So how online or offline schooling would be affecting uh, physical activities and health for your uh, uh, child or uh, uh, young graduates, right? And the th uh, third bit, we'll see uh, engagement of teachers. So uh, the teacher and the engagement is a, a, a most important point. So how a teacher would be behaving or how teacher would be engaging with the student, that's the most important point and that we will see. Uh, uh, next, we will see a resource availability, like uh, what type of resources uh, that needs to be available in uh, online or offline and yeah, what the importance for that. The next we will see uh, learning capabilities and mental, mental ability. So that's uh, another important factor which uh, will impact and decide which uh, uh, type of schooling should be preferred. And then at the end, we will see a cost effectiveness uh, uh, with respect to school and parents. We will see a fee structure and see how that can be managed effectively. Okay. So uh, uh, age group, let's see uh, balancing how this online schooling uh, uh, or offline would be balancing your work life family. So what I did, I uh, just extracted a few data from uh, this uh, website, ons.gov.uk, so the uh, government of UK website. And uh, this is statistics uh, is provided by official for national statistics, right? So what it's showing on the first figure, uh, if you see uh, like the family structured their employment differently. So depending on the age of their youngest dependent child. So this is what is uh, showing on the X axis. You see all these um, uh, age group uh, that the zero to two years, three to four years and five to 10. So that's the age group. And here, what you see how much percentage uh, 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 for whether it's uh, working both full time or both part time for the parents. So in most of the graphs, what you would see, it's a nearly 50%, right? So if you see for the zero to two, it's a 50%, then yeah, three to four, it's a slight uh, uh, down, but yeah, it's almost 50. And uh, here, if you go further, uh, like 11 to 15, uh, it would be crossing uh, 50%, then yeah, for 16 to 18, uh, that's FF50. So what it says, uh, like, uh, like uh, for child or for uh, young adults, uh, their parents, mostly the parents would be uh, working, say both full time working, and there's a, a, this line say both part time, and yeah, uh, this yellow says like father full time and part and part time. So what this data represents, so if you are going or if you are moving towards online, right, then uh, uh, this would be affecting, right, because if uh, you need to have something online and you are teaching someone at home, then at least uh, if if the person is if the student is young adult or child at least one person should be uh, there at home uh, uh, to see like if if if, if your student is actually learning or they are not accessing any uh, wrong content or website right so but if you do everything online if you're not going to a uh, classroom uh, type of things then yeah, that would be affecting because because if you uh, if you need to there at home to take care of a child, you have to lo lose your uh, job, right? So that's the one thing. And yeah, that, that will definitely affecting uh, a work-life family balance. So in this scenario, what we will see uh, is schooling, uh, offline schooling, or we will see uh, is, uh, is, go, uh, is classroom bit would be uh, more preferable. And here what you would see, uh, like if you have one child or two children or three or more children, this is uh, how much percentage it would be having. And uh, what it says are uh, both full time. So if you have one child, uh, you will see almost uh, below 60% would be both full time. Even if you have two children, uh, if the person are having two children, then yeah, this uh, somewhere if you say here 45% and three or more children, it's somewhere 40%. So what? I mean, that's, that's the stats clearly showing uh, 
that yeah it it it, it may affect if uh, if we would be uh, turning uh, board on to uh, class uh, online rather than classroom right see that uh, all these physical activities like which you can prefer or which you can do uh, at uh, uh, school or at at, at, uh, at a school level you can't have all those bits available on online so at some point uh, you need to opt this uh, this bit uh, for uh, for school uh, for schooling and uh, the other thing which i want to mention that like you may opt this something outside but uh, it's better to have a time management so if you are opting something for uh, outside for all this bit then yeah you have to manage uh, uh, to uh, to go with your child okay so uh, this bit is very important so if you are spending more time on uh, a screen uh, i just taken a uh, snapshot for this google to google search results Right, so if you are uh, moving more towards the online bit, uh, then yeah, you have to spend uh, more time on the screen. And yeah, this clearly shows that yeah, it will affect your eyes. So there's a study uh, done and if you see this post for uh, New York Post, then yeah, you will see that uh, if, you're, if you're more turning to uh, have an online, then yeah, you will have more exposure to laptops or desktops or even all these screens then yeah it will affect your uh, health as well so it will affect your eyes and yeah um, it's a more exposure that will will cause your irritation or kind of uh, blindness as well so rather than if you prefer to go in a classroom basis then yeah it, you won't be having all those too much exposure so i think that's a better okay so uh, teacher engagement so it's very important like who is teaching you right and who is teaching your uh, child for, for example so uh, if you have got a best teacher if you got a good teacher then uh, your child or baby or uh, a young adult or whatever they will understand it better but uh, if you don't have a good teacher then yeah obviously there would be uh, issues with that uh, Another thing I want to point out that uh, it doesn't uh, mean if, if the teacher is good at offline or classroom, that doesn't mean that yeah it will uh, it will uh, it will be a good teacher at online as well. So uh, in online, you may need to say look onto the resources. You have to know about how you are presenting, or you may need to know that uh, whatever content you are presenting, that uh, all the students are getting is 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 whatever you are presenting. Uh, you need to ask quizzes, you need to ask all those questions uh, in between your sessions. So uh, that's required a different kind of training and, uh, and, and it's very important that if you are, if you are teaching to a student, you should know how you need to uh, keep them learning, keep them engaged and all right. So for example, if you are teaching something in between, then yeah, you may ask some queries or you may ask some questions to keep your students uh, uh, get engaged in, in the classroom online classroom and and if you uh, if you need to have all those bits then yeah obviously you need to spend some time uh, the other bit the physical engagement is more effective than virtual so this is what i think if you uh, are teaching in the classroom and that would be more effective uh, rather than if you are uh, taking a class online uh, you may not be having a full control uh, and yeah you you may lose some some kind of attention there and then yeah uh, if you are doing all those bits in with the animation or learning videos that are more effective and interactive so i think that's bit uh, uh, good for when when you do something at the online because you may create all those videos animations and yeah that that the way you can get uh, engaged with your or your um, uh, students the learning capability and mental ability that's a one factor also which is which would affect and then yeah uh, so what point i have noted down the understanding so whatever you are teaching online or offline you need to understand you need to think that your you, students are getting well and uh, not all students are having same iq levels so if you are teaching online you need to make sure that yeah they are getting whatever you are teaching so that's the one important point which i think can be uh, treated good when you do something as a offline rather than online then yeah, classroom problem solving is more effective. That's what I think. Uh, if you are doing something in the classroom, and if you're giving say problem to your students, they may find uh, uh, with more collaborative way and they can solve it easily. 
rather than if you are uh, giving a problem to online and because you won't be having any control and you don't know that yeah what what your students are doing until unless you are uh, more towards because you can't you you just you can see just uh, their faces or whatever they're doing you can't see the the full uh, picture for that okay so uh, uh, resource availability is another factor uh, which uh, uh, which means a lot when you uh, go for online or offline so i just noted on four points the first one is location so uh, whether uh, whether you are a student or your teacher your location matters a lot because if you are locating in some remote area where you don't have a say, good network coverage then yeah obviously you will defeat the point of having online uh, classes right so that's the one point location then yeah good network coverage so if you are having good network uh, uh, you, you may have all those video conferencing or you may get uh, internet access very easily and they yeah, are accessing resource so when you are doing something as online you do need a laptop or desktop kind of resources through which you can get a training or uh, you can get all those materials right and then you yeah, have secure, secure access and that's a kind of safeguarding okay then uh, we come on to the cost effectiveness so this is for both the school and parents so for a school it's some more about physical space maintenance turn into it maintenance so whatever they are spending on the buildings or uh, whatever they are spending as a physical bit uh, that may come into the it maintenance so they might be hiring a third parties or they may have a it infrastructure it infrastructure setup so that's one factor which a school needs to look into and how they can manage their costing and then yeah uh, it, it it also save a travel time for both teachers and the students so that's a one uh, thing where you can save a cost and uh, most important even if you can't save the cost then yeah, you can save your time so if you're uh, moving between the cities you may have all those time save uh, save that time and yeah put into the learning or uh, creating content and yeah then share then uh, the third point is possible reduction is school fee. So I think uh, I'll, I'll be just showing you a few examples where uh, you will see there are lots of fees for uh, in terms of admission or some bit. So I think uh, I'm not sure if, if uh, that is uh, a reasonable fee, but yeah, uh, that can be looked into when we would go into the online bit. And yeah, we may see the reduction in the school fee. Then yeah, obviously if you go for online, you will have all these reusable content. So whether you are creating a videos or presentations or notes, uh, you can write once and then uh, you can distribute it uh, over further times, right? So that's the one uh, important bit which you can do with the online. Rather than in, in offline, what you need to do each time uh, when the students would be coming there, you have to create a new content or you have to spend time on that, right? Let me quickly show you uh, uh, school fees in India for some of the schools. So I just uh, took the three examples. Uh, though, so in this one, uh, if you see the fees full time for resident boarding, so registration fee is uh, 10,000 and the establishment charges is, is somewhere 100,000, right? So and the security deposit if you see 150,000 so uh, I don't know what what these charges are it might be reasonable for uh, a school point of view but yeah uh, that's a bit uh, can be reduced when uh, it would be moving more towards a uh, uh, online and if you see here the, the lots of the tuition fee quarterly if you see all these charges and then activity charges and all so that i think can be done in reduction when when it can be done say with the online right uh, similarly if you if you guys if i take this uh, school example here a school fee you would see out all all these school fees like admissions fee is somewhere 640 uh, thousand and the security deposit is the same one uh, this is the registration fee i don't know what this registration why why there are charges for registration fee and it just says like registration does not guarantee admission so i don't know why they are spending uh, they are taking more money for registration and yeah headset registration fee included the charge of rupees uh, thousand for a registration form so if you're doing something online uh, i don't think that require much effort so yeah that that all can be reduced uh, if you're moving towards uh, online uh, if you see the third example where i just took a, a one for this is school and if you see all this admission fee and that that's a massive uh, admission fee 
and uh, I don't know what this is say if you say society fee or admission fee one type what this covers uh, so if, if uh, they I mean it might be reasonable or they might provide a reason why they are taking so much fee but if you moving towards uh, online I think uh, that that's how somehow we, we we could see a reduction and uh, fee can be uh, say fee can be with a justification like why why there's so much fee with all those bids so i think i hope it would be clear uh, and yeah uh, i find it, it useful to have online and see all these uh, categorization or kind of somebody what fee that they are to, uh, taking in, into which this uh, criteria right Okay, so there are things which I have noted down which can be done in both online and offline. The first bit which is collective learning and more ideas while asking queries and questions. So either you are taking an online class or, or, or offline in the classroom, you can do with this one. Uh, live discussions or debate uh, and enhance mental ability. So whether you are doing online or classroom, if you are having a live discussions, then yeah you may have debate or you may spend some time to ask some discussions uh, among the students and have a debate kind of thing so that can be done whether you are doing in online or offline uh, then your team is fit and active participation that can also be achieved uh, in online and offline as well and then your skills and manners so that's a bit you can do uh, uh, the students can join meetings uh, uh, not meetings students can join all those trainings uh, kind of material or classes uh, regularly and then the similar thing uh, which they can do in, uh, in the classroom bit to go into the school right time and all so that's the thing are common in both which can be achieved whether you are doing in the online or offline okay so i just did a quick comparison uh, so in online you have do have flexibility to learn from anywhere anytime and you're in, in offline don't have that type of uh, that type of flexibility uh, you may have ability to rewind so if you don't understand you can go back always but then in in classroom uh, bit you don't have that flexibility and yeah uh, you have to focus whatever your teacher is telling at time uh, in online you don't need to prepare much or you don't need to spend much time on uh, writing so you have to focus on learning and then yeah, here in the classroom you have to write the notes as well so that could be a deviation and uh, in the online sometimes it could be a kind of virtual friend and, and uh, there's uh, no physical activities and yeah and it, it may require time management so you need to opt it uh, outside your classroom uh, online classrooms uh, but yeah in 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 uh, in online offline or classroom you do have that kind of social learning uh, between kids or students and yeah you do have physical activities uh, the bit which mentioned the physical appearance does matter uh, yeah that's the point and uh, uh, if you have say if, if the students are weak then it's a, it's, it's a good to have a face-to-face -face interaction rather than uh, uh, having a virtual because virtually you can't judge or you can't you can't see how students are doing so that's a good point here for offline or classroom and uh, this is a very important factor uh, you need to take care for health issues as well so too much ex exposure of a skin would cause uh, uh, issues that we uh, which are all those results and that that's been found in study as well and yeah uh, the last bit is working parents problem so if both parents are working then obviously they can't take care uh, uh, and it's better to have a school rather than uh, because they need to uh, lose their jobs. And All right, so in my opinion, uh, online teaching uh, combined with workshops or activities in physical, that's a good combination. And as per age group, so what, what why I'm saying as per age group, because if you have a kind of uh, uh, your uh, kids or young adults, that will depend which one is better and how much time they need to spend on workshop activities and how much time they are they need to spend on online teaching also if you are working uh, parents then yeah both working parents then yeah it would be good to decide which one is better and where you can save time or cost so thanks for watching this video if uh, uh, you like this video just uh, uh, share and subscribe uh, channel for all kind of latest video updates thanks bye